I believe that taking the man out of Sacramento will take the Sacramento out of the man well, as me, well. It depends. Playing next to Anthony Davis. And look, he, he may have... You do look, realize what was said about him before he got Sacramento, right? What do you like, mean? I mean, look, at, when he was at Kentucky and, and in college, there's certainly we didn't see... Uh, this level of some of the behavior that we've seen. Uh -huh. uh, but there were remnants of that there. No question, but I think Sacramento brought out the worst in him, mm -hmm. the losing weight on him. He often lost it, but that doesn't make him a lost cause. I think going to New Orleans, being in that circumstance with an Anthony Davis, being motivated, I, I think he's reset his, his, he's shifted his entire paradigm by changing this number. all that from a press conference. No, it's not that. I just, I understand somebody that's in circumstances, much of which you can't control. Everybody's not a thermostat. Some people are thermometers. Not everybody can step into a bad dysfunctional situation where ownership doesn't have a clue and is turning over coaches, some of them based on clashing with him. Right. Not everybody can turn that around. Maybe that's not him. But being fire and ice, as he described it, with Anthony Davis, playing for Alvin Gentry, having a city that's going to embrace him just as much as Sacramento did off the court. I think he's out, even though he denied this, I think he is out to rewrite the narrative. And the best way to rewrite that narrative about him is winning.